here's auto payments. So auto payments, first off, I have one there. I'm going to remove that auto payment and let's start from scratch. And this could be, and I'm going to show you a profile with like use an employee profile. So they're setting up. This is allowing users to set up auto pay. And this is how this is how I pay my bill, and I'm sure everybody in attendance with with your utilities and everything else. So maybe I want to do it on a monthly basis and select the day of the month. And there are those three payment profiles. Uh, the, uh, that, that I was showing, let's go ahead and select the visa, pay all open invoices. That simply says, you know, at the, on the 31st for all invoices outstanding, it'll just pick it up, or let's do a false here and say, no, we want to cap it at, say, uh, $160. So I'm creating this profile, so this auto payment, method has been created. Now I'm going to go back to our admin and bear with me. I'm going to go to a batch process called process, there it is, process auto payments. So in an environment, this would be automatically turned on and you would schedule it to run every minute, every day, every week, depending on the batch. This button right here allows me to manually run it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm running this DLL executable and if I look at the history here and I see uh, that I'm working it for 4242, and it's saying the payment authorization has started it. I'm going to click again. Aha, authorization success. So this is a history. And if I was to, say, uh, go in here, you could see, and it, and it picked. I did $150. And if you were to total the 51, 51, 51, and 7, and if I was to, say, come back here to the payments, There's that 151, and I could bring them all up, and I can go into Ledger Inquiry and show you, but that's uh, admin.